Welcome. Hello. Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That's me, the babbler. You'll see <laughs> on this revolutionary, evolutionary rise of alchemize that's happening at every moment of divine time that we align, at least here in this shrine created, you know, in this energy of energy of space. It is a sacred walk in with grace. You know, I'm going to get into my poetry flow. But either way, this video today, welcome, welcome if you are new. Welcome if you are returning. <laughs> I'm just going to go in. <laughs> either way, it's just going to... um. I guess this will be like another, like a late night enchanting babble spree. Call it whatever you want it to be. It's inner enlightening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I hope that when you are here, you're ringing in my ear, that you are exactly where you need to be to receive and eat the fucking mana that is here for you. Mm -hmm. Take it as you will, okay? This is entertainment for your entertainment and it is what it is. So I was kind of like, you know, in my own introspection, um, hermit-like flow, gasmic, that I have no quarrel um partaking and being a part of without company but you know comfortable be my evolutionary journey of awakening and happening that um allows me to you know just so freely hit record when the time comes right not like the way that it was once upon a time ago before when I wanted to still stay writer, be my scribe life, you know? Anyways, I was here in my own inner attainments, perfectly content in my own inner attainment. And so I felt divinely guided. <laughs> Call it what you must, imagination. <laughs> Imagination creation station, what is your script nation? Okay, let's get on our elevation of evolution. Like everything is that which you create it to be and desire it to be too for you. And oh, people are gonna be like, oh, that's like hippie talk and stuff like this. But you know what I'm learning from life with, you know, um, you know, granted, you know, however we perceive past lives and soul journeys and ancient, you know, um, beings and us human beings, no matter how intelligent we might be in this multidimensional realm of existence that we awaken to and we perceive or think that we're on matrix style, like, where are we? You know, where's our homeland, right? And who am I? Who, whom are you? <laughs> Great question, right? Mm -hmm. So this discovery, this recovery, this uncovery. But you know what I'm learning in my 40 plus years of life experience? And I say this with the most utmost respect and sincerity to everybody who receives this. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care who you be. I don't care if you don't even like me. But made this mana really for the feed and breed you in the alchemy that you need to be for everybody because your healing and your evolution benefits us all real shit i don't give a fuck about who's right who's wrong, who did what, all this kind of shit. You can say whatever it is about this. I've been wrong in my day, in my life. Oh, I know the fight for forgiveness or just wanting to be right. I get it. 
spite can bite and bitter can breed. But this cycling of toxicities, <laughs> when do you stop the cycle of self-sabotage and abuse and think that just because you're right or not, the disharmony that you go about and, well, you know, anyways, that's going off of what I was saying. <laughs> go back to, to what I was saying, right? Let's not get off of that, right? Brainwave. <laughs> in my 40 plus years of life, we'll go back to whatever it is, you know, enchantress the babbler that we are. Now do you understand the land of babble as, as you eat the mana? It's ah, it, it comes in as a disguise. Ah, bubbling. What? It, it births life? Ah. Drink, eat, chew, swallow, whatever you must do, however you must receive. Talk about trigger specialist, right? Especially if it be you. If you be here and you resonate with me and you're not like triggered by me negatively or brings out the toxic demon in you and you think I got an issue with you and some shit like that and you project onto me the mirror you see because mirror be we the ones that resonate with me and you don't got an issue with me you take the you take the mana that's here and you're like appreciate it so whether you're um vocal about it or not you're not like over there like seething with rage and I hate her I don't like her or evil be her wave and try to prove that shit in some kind of way shitty shit shit stain be your stain you know what I'm saying and you know like whatever because we got that kind of crowd up in here too they watch 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 but they deny 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 and then they la 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 la. And they want it to be you so evil too. Oh, it'd be you, it'd be you, it'd be you. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but here's really, truly, what I've learned in my 40 plus years of life. The world is going to be the world. And people are going to be how they are. Don't let that change your script. I think about this, right? People be like, oh, I'm not gonna be nice no more. I'm so overly nice and I'm, I'm nice. And I'm nice to ungrateful ass mofos that don't deserve my leveling of nice. I understand it. I understand. I'm not a sucker, I'm not gullible, and I don't need you to accept me. But I ain't matching your energy, nor do I desire to. And although nice not be you, and if I gotta interact with you, if I just do the right thing, right? Doesn't mean you've always done the right thing, so stop it. Be like, oh, you didn't say that in 1995, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2002, and 3, and 4. Close that fucking door. You know, the other day, too, uh, I, I triggered myself. <laughs> I was like, bitch, how you say that, think that? And, and, and profess that. And I'm like, well, let's articulate that, right? Because these are the interconnect dollars, right? that we should be having with ourselves. How many selves that may be, but the more that you get into your energy of understanding, that's the best place you can be, right? Understanding your own chemistry, master alchemist, right? Be you, right? So, what was I saying? <laughs> How did I get here? I should get my little notepad though. Just because, you know, whatever. We could blame it on things. We could say what it is. But the more that we get into our accountability about how we go about and navigate our own systems and do what must be done, right? Um, we could just keep making excuses as to why something doesn't get done. Right? Anyways, but going back to the point of what it was that I was trying to say um, before all of that. <laughs> we'll get there too. No worries. I get to let the bubbles for you. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? This be true. <laughs> hey, uh-huh. 
What was I saying? Oh, yeah, all of that. <laughs> uh, cry and then I get sniffles. Like, what the fudge? So I'm, I'm going to try really not to, like, cry <laughs> and get all worked up inside. It's just I can't. I'm a passionate soul. Like, you know what I mean? It's not for effects. And traumatic might be my wave, but it's just natural in me to be that kind of way. Like, uh, I have a lot of... Uh, eccentricities of circuitries of feelings that circulate through my being that I'm very conscious and aware of and what the fuck <laughs> so let me be my own expression right so you too let you be your own expression that's going back to that going back to that going back to the whole message right so we're gonna always deal with people that are just not nice not kind and on that evolution or they have an excuse and a reason to be the season of fucking Debbie Downer or negative Nancy or fucking paranoid schizophrenic, like, you know, because they're so traumatized about everyone in life that this, like, fucking, um, granted, it, this is, we're more than these bodies and there are a lot of shit going on beneath the surface and all this kind of stuff. And you might really be in your multidimensionality of awareness you see and stuff like that. But like, if you don't handle your own toxicities and you don't handle your own, like you don't go in for your win, like you're always still projecting out and still like trying to get your fucking right, you're wronged, right? And you got this like vendetta in life and granted passion, it might be your wave and all this kind of stuff. And you might have a reason for your season and all this kind of shit. And you might be right and you have a revolution and evolution that's the uniqueness in you. That's the beauty in you. That's the power in you. That's the empowerment in you, right? All these things that you got to get through, right? So sometimes we just get so stuck on the what we had to go through to get through and so we don't get fully through because you're still stuck on the what you had to get through kind of stuff and so you could be stuck on that element of development and be driven by that passion to make what was wrong right and all this kind of stuff making you wrong like you know in the energy because it's like it's a whole other element of karma in, in a different kind of way and you know I, I don't want to get into the politics of that kind of wave and all that stuff that I can say and stuff, but um, like I've tried it all ways. In my own awareness, accountability, responsibility for my interactions with the fucking general public that tends to be much less fucking kind than I am. In my karma veil of life experience is dealing with difficult mofos. And I had somebody point that out to me in their observance of um, being a, a person that was with my father for many years and observing me, right, in my life for those amount of years that they were in my father's life and whatever the case may be. And one time of a conversation, they were like, you, you, because I'm genuine in my behaviorisms, there ain't no fucking underlying fucking cause or sneak like tactic or like phony baloney shit to when I do how I do and how I am with whomever I am with. It's not fucking some like it's just real. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. I understand trauma and I understand drama and I understand being suspect I've been wronged you've done me dirty people have not been kind and for those of you that do connect with me in that kind of like line you know how real and genuine and and and, and of value you have been to other people that didn't appreciate that value meal that you are and all this kind of stuff and so it's easy and then life can continuously disappoint when you keep on meeting more fucking humans that are just like disappointing 
after disappointment after disappointment and then it's like okay well you know we can't keep projecting our own we can't keep saying it's done let's raise our energies let's fix our you know our inner environment let's 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 fix this part of ourselves that keep drawing that kind of like energy to ourselves let's understand 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 like let's do all these kind of like commands and stuff like that and demands like you know um that's been part of my purpose and 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 divine calling this 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 micro management of these macro concepts and and and, and building the bridge of articulation so that it can be um, absorbed, right? Right, like quote, like code source, you know, we live symbolic, of course. So people get stuck on their symbologies too. Like everything is, we are evolution and ecstatic motion, right? We are constant energy. You can try to tie something to some kind of ruling as much as your mind can intellectually make you understand all this kind of stuff. It doesn't mean it's the true high command, demand. Like it's just human nature. That wants to be driven mad by perplexities of you know, our existence and ruling that you can miss the whole fucking point. What is the point, right? <laughs> but anyways, going back to like, you know, what I'm saying. Um, so I, I've, I've, I've had enough life experience to have um, done my own personal research and have had different, um, executions of my deliberate intentions, purpose, behavior of maneuvering in a society of people that I know have made me feel certain type of ways and intuitively I am right on motherfucking point, especially if I meet you, like well, many people could, you could live that disguise, that deny and all this kind of stuff, like on the internet and pictures and all this kind of fucking shit. Meet me in fucking person, right? We'll see, like, scan through. That's why, like, you know, some people don't want to even be around you, right? Like, if you're here and you're resonating with me, you're not triggered by what the fuck I have to say, and you're like, yeah, 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 because you are that, like, like that too, then you motherfucking know, in front of you, there cannot be no fucking phony baloney. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <the honey>. <laughs> no. <laughs> you could play pretend on the internet. You could play pretend in a story script. You could play pretend in your whole like Let's get real. Right. Okay. <laughs> and so anyways, and my own research you know self love me get out of my own toxicities journey right of like let's evolutionize your revolution and live healthy wealthy stealthy right and elevate right be about it don't just talk about it be about it right right so yeah um I'll go back to what she had pointed out I think I said it right well Oh yeah, in her observation, she of of my dad's this is an ex. In her observations of my life for those years that she was with, you know, like my dad, she said, "Wow, part of your test, like your testimony, your testament is all the difficult people you that has been placed in your path that you've had to deal with and like con like conquer, <laughs> like come out of." Like she's like. <laughs> <laughs> that I deal with difficult people. I'm like, oh, you see it? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, 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 you see what I'm talking about? Like, well, not talking about because I don't talk about it. Like, you know, it's just something, you know, you just kind of like accept or like, you just like, you, you, wait a minute. I'm not invisible. <laughs> like, wait a minute. You see that shit? Oh, 
who she's me you know i'm starting to believe right so this is years ago like you know anyways um so in this you know on our own personal discoveries that's why we're each here like let's unify stop fucking trying to like beat people fucking down when they're already fucking down we're all motherfucking down right now <laughs> no matter where we are you, know, you got all these like even like the celebrities and all this kind of shit that you're watching on the fucking internet like their own fucking like like if you're so desensitized from like being tapped in turned on tuned in to like the emotional cries or the shit that you can see like behind the mask the disguise the lies the you know the the, the cries like we're all fucked up right now in sense like you could be in like a good vibrational place alchemy place like you know like i'm just speaking like metaphorically so like why the fuck are like you in your right mind sense right like gonna keep on beating down a wrong without providing its solution without being a tyrant or manipulative or sadistic too because you're right about something too like you gotta get through that leveling of like redemption and peace may peace be with you anyways um so i've done it even my daughter my daughter has been such a huge help with a lot of her air element qualities that have been such a wonderful educator for me because you know i'm so like fire and water right and lava is ready to explode <laughs> because i'm such a, an emotional being i feel things deep what the fuck i acknowledge that about myself okay and you know um even my daughter growing up like because i guess she would see my over nice or like my doing too much. Like she would point it out. She'd be like, Ma, you don't need to do that. They don't even care. Or Ma, why are you like, Ma, stop, like, don't be so, like, you know, don't like, you don't need to be that nice. Like, or just stop talking. Like, you know, and, and instead of being insulted or defensive about it, um, she was right. I had to take a step back. So I had to get through that evolution of understanding, am I overly people pleasing still? And am, am I doing all this kind of stuff? and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, these are years of self-improvement and, you know, understanding your system and why you do what the fuck you do, when you do, how you do. And then if you now identify that what you do, do you like what you do? Is it working for you? Okay, what are you prepared now to do to solution be for you? Identification helps with that. It's an awesome fucking tool to introspect, you know, and dissect and figure it the fuck out. Or, you know, continue to align with your purpose and how you want to feel. If, you, if you're not living the life that what you desire, how do you desire to feel? Now go fucking feel that. How can you make yourself feel that? In other fucking ways. Don't be so stubborn, stuck in your way of, oh, I need the castle today. Okay, but you don't got the castle. So what? You're going to be miserable every motherfucking day? So you get the castle? You ain't going to get the castle like that. And even when you get the castle, you're not going to be happy in there either. It's going to be haunted. <laughs> be haunted. Hey, so, anyways, what was I saying? So, um, so, yeah, go through the motions, go through things. And I still, you know, Hello? Uh, hold on, baby. So, <laughs> actually, hold on. I'm trying to like <laughs> um condense my speech down due to um attention spans, <laughs> but I'm gonna be myself, which is the whole purpose and the point of even this entire like inspiration behind this whole entire video that. I decided to jump on and record for you guys because maybe it's a challenge for someone out there, you know, to um, totally surrender to you unapologetically too. 
right so anyways so during these times that you know that she was so helpful to my development it it, it, it created questions it, it then provided the opportunity for me to now start asking myself questions that this insight was alchemizing within me and so like the question became okay well am I doing this for something in return do I need something from this person and that's why I'm doing this if this person doesn't respond in the way that I feel that they should respond or shows gratitude does that affect the act that which I showed my kindness do I take back my kindness all of a sudden so these are excellent like reference point questions for me to ask myself about my people pleasing that has been taken out of that has that did get all distorted and oh I love you baby hold on like I'm a huge like advocate and believer that it's not that we don't have we don't know what to do is sometimes we just have yet to formulate the proper question to ask that's going to provide us with the solution that we need to find the solution that we need everything takes time you know what i'm saying so you know if you are anything like i where you've been documenting your whole entire motherfudging existence and that of all those that you encounter and have close relations to be able to you know um, know very well then you too are a scientist in in your own right especially if you've been applying the dynamics and um education learned from your own personal research into your own um existence I love when I encounter people that have previously once upon a time known me. And although they'll all say, you were always like different in some kind of way, but oh my God, you've, you, you're so different, you've changed. Thank you. That's what evolution looks like, different. Thank you. Right, so anyway, so, in this own personal development research, you know, of my own, you know, do with your own life as you desire. Here I am, you know, here to inspire my fucking self, right? Right, to stand up, to speak, to express, whether anybody listens or not, which is a huge journey for me on my own social media platforms. And it started with my blog. When I finally, like, I, I never really cared about who was reading or looking at my blog. And I really don't know, like, I I can't say anymore, but I've learned a lot. Like, I, I, I stopped saying, oh, I don't know how to do something. And now, if, if it's something that needs to be done, is it something that I'm capable of doing? Am I capable of learning something that I need to get done, like, to do myself? And so it's been a learning experience with, you know, um, technology <laughs> like just the other day I was putting some like D S N D N S number thingies and I'm just like whoa <laughs> good thing for step-by-step -step instructions <laughs> and pictures <laughs> I feel like it's somehow I'm like mm, I could be genius in many kind of rights but like this is not my department like I, I i admire the people that i'm like oh you're so cute <laughs> which you know it all so when there's all the things that i i mean i could type like a thousand words per second like you know scriptionist scripter be spider life be life like you know the same speed of my linguistics but it is what it is so what was i saying so all right, you know, whatever. If you're new here and that annoys you that I go all over the place, um, you can tell me about that during a live that I never do, but I shall do. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> um, live is funny with me. <laughs> but yeah, going back into the message, right? Um, 
so in getting to my inner standing, right? Because when you can understand why you do what you do when you do how you do, then you get this wonderful opportunity of a space to deliberate what's it going to be for yourself. You know what I mean? So in my truth and my own discoveries, I realize I'm not doing it for, you know, something. But then, right, then I had to travel the lands of when you're overdoing something and not being reciprocated and how depleting of an energy that can be. Or is that because you were always doing it for something? You know, so I had to travel those waters too. And it's not, it's just, you know, reciprocation is important and balance is key to anything. And you can't overly give to someone that's not reciprocating the same kind of energy or feeding you the same like that's just natural and it has to be a full bloom gloom groom to 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 bloom like you know like um it's only right like you know to nourish and feed that which you are um engaged with partnering with like it makes sense like why would you surround yourself around other energies that are beating you down or clowning you out or like fucking deceptive and as fuck like you know what I'm saying like it makes no sense anyways um so so then the um the understanding and deliberations of my own truths it's like okay so what do I do like do I not be fucking nice just because this world is not fucking nice and just because they're not fucking nice like I stop like oh there's like a little mop in here hold on hold on <laughs> I didn't like that hold on I turned on the light over there so I can go over there. <laughs> My cats will get it. Shut <laughs> my hands now. Whatever. So, um, what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, so so I'm getting into my truth, you know, about why I do what I do when I do how I do, realizing. <laughs> How I do got nothing to do with how you do. <laughs> it's how I do. Oh, light bulb. I was like, wait a minute. How I do is how I do. Now, if I keep on now overextending myself, then this is on me with certain kind of things. And why would you subject yourself? Like, martyr not be this life. And no, discernment be key and rule over everything. It doesn't stop me from being me. So I'm going to still do how I do because that's just how I do. You know what I'm saying? Without needing kudos or brownie points or motherfucking, like, clout or like recognition for the good deed of just or just being nice or like hey it's okay like I held the door open for you like no nah, nah, it's okay like I saw you coming and I just I couldn't I do that if I see somebody coming and they might be like 10 seconds from where I'm entering like in a public space like in my seeing them coming I can't just go in and like, I, I hold the door. And I know that sounds silly because the person could be like right over there and it's just because I saw you. If I didn't see you and I'm just going in and I'm in my own lane and I, I didn't notice you and I'm just keeping it moving, then I didn't fucking see you. I mean, I'm gonna hold the door open for nobody. But I saw you. I'm not rude. And now, granted, somebody doing that to me, I have been passive in my life about those kind of people and tolerable because of my ability to understand their conditioning. And so due to my conditioning and abusive upbringing that created the platform, the template for me to move forward with 
I was already fucked from when I started, huh? <laughs> so square B, the box that you got to box your way out of, like, street fighter style, like, <laughs> guns blazing, like, I go out, I go out, like, like, you go out and you leave one atmosphere to be ending up in another fucking toxic atmosphere just because it, you'd rather deal with this toxic atmosphere than that fucking toxic atmosphere. To leave one toxic atmosphere to go into another toxic fucking atmosphere because you don't deal with your spheres, your your layers, your energies. Hey, so... So now I've I've learned to I don't I'm I'm not I don't do anything that I feel like I'm overly extending myself to do. So if it appears nice or kind or like a good act or deed of that which I do when I didn't have to do that kind of thing, I'm not doing it for anything except that that's how I do. <laughs> And y'all bitches is not going to make me feel any motherfucking different about it anymore. Like, I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. That's part of, like, especially if you resonate, like, with me, like, part of why some people just truly, like, have it in for you and stuff energetically, whether they ever fucking admit it or not, like, they pretend, like, a pretend fucking days. Let them pretend for fucking days, but you see through that mask wonderfully, right? No matter, like, my cats are going crazy. <laughs> Part of, like, why? Shiva. Part of, like, why their disdain, like, or... Um, it grows is because their inability to be genuine and that kind of real, like in a good way that they don't connect with. They're like, there's a, there's a neurological synapse off their chemical vibration that doesn't allow those connectors to get into their like vibration. They just don't have that sensation, desire, or, or, ability or evolution it's evolution like you could think about it in a synapse neurological kind of like component oh i'm chemically imbalanced and that's the reason we could keep looking for fucking excuses as to the season for your reason for your treason but until you start holding yourself accountable for that which you can do everything seems like an excuse ooh. and trust me I got plenty of my own excuses that I have excused myself for that I've had to address. Like, okay, <laughs> you 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 excusing yourself here? Nah, nobody's exempt from that which must be done. It's just up to you when you're going to get the evolution of your revolution and when you're going to put in the effort that's needed and the work <laughs> that's needed and the consistency to breed that seed, like, no matter how it be. So, yeah, like, if you, like, right, there's people pissy, pissy because you could grow past your hurt. You can grow past that which. So, like, a lot of people even before they have ever gotten to know you, misjudged you and probably thought you hadn't been through the, the ringer because of your demeanor and how you appear to be and how, 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 wow, your disposition, right? And then when all of a sudden they hear about what you fucking gone through, I know there's a mocha, there's a fog. <laughs> You see, my cat found it already. I see it. Hold on. <laughs> Talk about diffusing situations. That's probably what you're really good at, like diffusing situations and and creating articulations to help other people understand difficult situations or challenges or blockages that they might have um, and helping them to really understand that more for themselves and make shit that could be complicated make a little bit better more sense and diffuse right like right now i just had to like diffuse this whole cat 
fight situation because I've been on play because of the, the little, like, it was like a little, like, moth or something that was here and I haven't even play I haven't even got to it right <laughs> but she gets serious about these things like she's like the like the of the coven of the three cats she's like the the head um high priestess because <laughs> I call her my traveler she does a lot of um esoteric shit I'll talk about that in other kind of videos um not here though um anyways so she started hissing at all the other fucking cats and fucking even poor shiva she couldn't even shiva who jumps high like she'll be up high over here was like struggling to jump because i mean, was sitting on the chair that i'm sitting on right now like hissing at everybody that moves even she just said me i'm like excuse me so i listen palo santo because i kind of like sweetens her up um and so like she calmed her tits a little bit because like oh she don't play <laughs> oh see it hold on one second as it turns out we didn't get it <laughs> so this is like mission impossible three and she's like determined so i'm glad i lit some of that palo santo because i went to one like even pass she's like ah <laughs> it's like you got this system <laughs> you got this so um yeah what were we saying a lot of stuff i know um I've, I've seen some um videos of like people um doing like um tarot or um <laughs> or like you know specialized videos and they'll have dust particles like just like me moving dust particles in their um, videos and talk about orbs, not nah, dust particles. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I just saw some dust particles and like, oh, nigga, orb, no fairy element. And trust me, I'm all open to all those kind of like multi dimensionalities, right? Um, it's interesting because you, you can see beyond the veil for those that do connect with me in that kind of way and um i love the interactions like when i'm seeing something and my cats are seeing the same something as me at the same time and we're all moving at the same time like <laughs> but what they see and what i see i wouldn't it be wonderful to have the engagement of like actual like as an animal whisper as I can be to really intuitively understand and commune with the way that I do and how I'm led like you know um spirit animal wisdom and also real life animal interactions and engagement and animals love me all species <laughs> wildlife too um I I love it like you know it's like a nice community um but I, I respect it. Like, as much as I love it, there's a fear, too, factor, because it is wildlife. So by all means, you must be cautious, careful, and don't think just because you're an enlightened, like, being that you can go to all wildlife free, and it won't work like that. <laughs> okay, so it's just an interesting journey, um, you know, with the love you know anyways um I turned the light on again over there but my daughter probably get up and turn it off <laughs> what was I saying I was saying a lot of stuff but that was just like a distraction but it's okay um Right, so all these like I'm gonna be going back and forth and stuff like that but all these like you know um Yeah. <laughs>
what was I saying? No, I I know where I'm at. I'm just trying to find my bullet point of where did I leave off? Like, um, because I don't want to be too too long. Um, but um, I could just go back to the purpose and the point of what I was saying, and then I can continue in that kind of way. Um, stuff. So, so um, wait. The whole purpose and point of the inspiration behind even this video is that whole like um point of understanding that what you do when you do how you do especially if you tend to overly people please in some kind of way or deplete yourself of energy you can then start to analyze that what you do and understand it from that perspective too because that takes back your power too so now that i know that me being kind to you however you perceive it and however you receive it it's just an act of that which I am, right? It got nothing to do with you, whether it was you behind that interaction or somebody else. My my act would have gone down the same way because that's who I am. Your response to that and your taking of that, right, is going to be where you're at in your own evolution, how you handle that and what you do and how you perceive and what you project on and all that kind of stuff. That's a whole other fucking ball game, right? But I ain't playing that ball game that's yours, right? That's, right? So in, in, in processing this information, it's helpful because you get back into the driver's seat, right, of understanding, like, I just, so now let's say you do something nice because that's who you are. And someone responds to you negatively in the nice that you just did, you can take back your nice or you can see it for what it is and learn from whatever you have to learn and stuff like that and not take like back or or regret like I shouldn't like or manipulate or like I was just I just gave you a sandwich. You gave me a sandwich so that I could be nice to you. And so then now that I'm not nice to you, you want to take back your fucking sandwich? Then were you I, were you really being nice? Or were you just being energetically manipulative to get something to move into your favor and you were just trying to make nicey nice with me? And my intuition picked up on that shit. And <laughs> no, thank you. You can shove your sandwich up your ass. <laughs> I don't know. But like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, all these like things that we have to do. But either way, how someone perceives and receives is none of your business. Now, if someone's kind back and, you know, and you got this nice reciprocal exchange, then that's wonderful. All the more reason why you should continue to be this way so that you too can enjoy the splendor of, oh, wow, that was nice too. No, you were so nice. Thank you so much. You just like, you know, made my day. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you too. Like, wonderful. And more of that shall come, of course, because <laughs> hello, what the fuck juice you think you are like um, extracting here when you put in that leveling of effort of just, you know, authenticity and finding your way. So it's like, oh, you like, let's say you have to go somewhere that you, you, you don't really care for the people that are around, but you got to be civil and you got to be around and all this kind of stuff. Um, how do you do that without being fake? You don't have to be phony. <laughs> you don't have to overly engage with anybody that you don't want to converse with or who doesn't energetically suit your preference. You can be civil when you do have to encounter and engage and you don't have to feel some type of way because they're in the same environment or presence as you. And if you are, you need to check yourself. Because really, the problem ain't them. It could be you. You know? Um, yeah. So, anyways. Um, so, so, it came up for me today. Because I did something nice that I didn't have to do. And yeah, I'm not going to talk about what the nice was. I'm not going to kiss my ass. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> whatever I did something nice and before I did the something nice I had this whole like revelation integration understanding understanding overstanding of ah! <laughs> you see what I mean love it right of um I don't know 
But um, that's that. That's that. Just that's it. You get rid of the piss. You get rid of the pus. <laughs> hey, clap back. It's how you can spook me. <laughs> I know I'm a number of animals and something that, but you can't come aggressively or in my thing. I am human in this department and I don't really do bugs that well. <laughs> there are many that I don't kill and I don't um I don't ever want them like mass slaughtered and all this kind of stuff, or whatever. Like I've had my war with these um lantern fly kind of thingies, but um but she was like, where he at? <laughs> I got this. All right, so um, what was the thing? Yeah, so, um, and again, I had the whole, like, scope, inner scope record of this whole play-by-play. And I knew, and I, you know, because with everything, then nothing is... Um, like cement it unless you cement it you know what i'm saying so there's always this alternative path like people be like oh when you get to this crossroad every day is a crossroad every moment is a crossroad experience of your whole entire fucking existence every single passing second of a moment of multi-dimensional existence that you breed you breathe you seed you create, you exist, you are. What do you think is fucking happening? Right? Um, and in these happenings, you always have this position of authority, whether you recognize the authority or not, to make your decision about how you're going to go about and take care of things it's like people when they wake up in the morning and they have to go to work to a job that they don't like you have people that feel the same way and you have two different kinds of people right those that wake up upset pissy grumpy nasty like everybody know they hate their life they're miserable cranky fast coughing before being able to be nice or something or semi-nice or something like that like first coffee don't talk to me which is fine like I'm there's some mornings I don't want to talk and all this kind of stuff but it's just you know the execution of people's um stank ass vibes like when they come out and they speak you could tell just you know how stank a person's environment inner environment can be just by the tone and the nasty and just the way they speak and how they handle things and how they talk to people I don't give a fuck who the fuck you think you are and I don't give a fuck who you think you're talking to like you know we are all souls here having a human motherfucking experience, okay? So um, if you can't be like, if you want to be all superior, that's fine, but you can be monotone, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, so um, whatever. What was I saying? It's just energy is filtering through, right? Um, right, so the person that hates their job, these two people both hate their job, but one wakes up, smile on the face grateful does their own kind of like you know morning rituals and you know um treats everyone like accordingly like you know andromeda <laughs> sometimes we need the negativity to push us out of the conformity or the stagnation or the stuck to be the motivation behind the push that we need to get our sparks and juices flowing, but it should never be the drive. And and what happens a lot when people become bitter or like tainted or like fucked up inside, distorted with their hurt, pride, you know, um, you know, become revengeful or having those kind of energies that um, just speak negatively or you can identify these kind of people too like they never have anything positive to contribute not talking when they're talking like revolutionary or evolutionary or trying to be like a motivational speaker or an inspirational speaker you know anybody could be a motivational speaker anybody could be an inspirational speaker you gotta walk the walk and talk the talk too and I'm not saying anybody's perfect in that kind of department too but like these people um philosophies don't match their behaviors period like period 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 your philosophy don't match your behavior right and so like that's a different kind of like vibration altogether and energy <laughs> period but um 
you know, you always, and, and you can identify that too. Like, it's like you share something. Um, and I'm not talking about people that have the worry wart, you know, constantly worrying, but although that's a drainage energy too, that's fear factor operating somebody's territory and that they're trying to impose that shit on you, right? Like, it's just like, oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to um, another country, another state. Oh my God, like, you know, the worry warts and, you know, they might mean well from their conditioning and stuff like that, but like in all actuality, it's just a bunch of like, you know, energetic cock blockers, stop, you know, stoppers that will, that operate off of their own fear systems and they're just trying to share that with you so like you know awareness and consciousness can make that not toxic for someone that is aware and conscious of what's happening there like you don't have to be succubied by that energy or drained because someone is this way like unless you're annoyed by it or bothered by it then you know then you should discover what that is to you and what that means to you and you know stuff like that so like people that I usually like where I, I I'm pretty much like cut and dry like um when people try to impose that kind of like you know life and stuff like that I just get real um cut and dry I'm like I I hear what you're saying but I don't like when somebody wants to talk about the news or something like that. I mean, if I wanted to see that I would have watched it myself thank you <laughs> oh exactly <laughs> I was just saying, oh, exactly. I know I'm, I'm going and I'm going to have a great time. And thank you so much for that information. I understand your concern. It's not a concern of mine. You know, you know, you can be cut and dry and people um, eventually, nobody wants to be cut and dried, right? And you understand that from the perspective of feeling left out by people that will even team up with people that they don't really care for just to spite you and just to bite you and just to have a, a dominating um, control over the, the energies that they choose to have around them that they can um, manipulate, right? Those are people that got like posses and girl gangs and teams and a whole bunch of people to like side with them and popular shit and like um call it whatever kind of group you want out like you know whatever but um usually there's like a ringleader that dominates like that kind of like hyena group you know what i'm saying like pack um like elementary school at that like you know anyways i don't want to talk about that but um Right, so getting into your truth factors and your truth bombs and reasons will be awesome so that you don't commit self-treason, right? So in this happening with this nice thing that I did, and what I mean by nice, I don't even consider it nice. It's just if, 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 if that, if the, what I did, what I, what I, what I did that I didn't have, it's like going, like somebody saying you went far and beyond for somebody that you don't even know. It's like telling, um, like going all the way across the street to tell somebody that their shoelace is inside and you don't even know this fucking person. Like you didn't have to do that, but you did it anyways because you noticed it, you saw it and like, okay, listen, nobody around you, not even the person you're fucking walking with is telling you that your shoelace is untied. I saw it from across the street and I just, you know, whatever. Listen, I'm not like wishing you bad things, but can you tie your shoelace before, you know, you get hurt? <laughs> no worries. You're welcome. Bye. Right. And then someone like being like, oh my God, what does she want from me? <laughs> because you did that. Um, bitch. Your shoelace was untied. Everyone around you was not telling you that. Like, I would have more concern about that than asking me why I fucking crossed the street to tell you that your shoelace was untied. You're welcome. Goodbye, right? So, um, and so I had this whole, like, epiphany, like, too, of my own growth and this development, too. And it's just, you know, my own highest of selves um integration of um recognition of seeing my growth process and how that development had looks now because it looks different than it did four years ago five years ago when that may have been what I needed to learn about my discernment like was I going over just you know 
because um, this inner childhood wound cry that wants to be accepted by all peers and show everybody that, you know, there could be people that don't mean harm or deceit and stuff, but then they fuck you over anyway, like, you know, and not being bitter or tainted from that too, because you understand the conditioning of that environment too, and you knew how it can go too. But either way, going back into the choices, and the, the crossroads and the, the paths that we take, this shit is every motherfucking waking second that you wake and bake. You have a choice to make how you want to create. Like, that shit don't go away. So people are talking about these crossroads in life. Every moment is a motherfucking crossroad. You have a choice. You have a position to fill. Are you filling it? Right? So going into that world of what this video was all about, was to those of you that might be it's like then if you do then if you don't <laughs> kind of thing and you know like like damn like but I, I am this way like what you want me not to be joyful what you want me not to be giggly what you want me not to um be friendly or oh, what you want people other people not to like me like you know you get what I'm saying like so you think about all these things I'm understanding the environment that creates the anxiety feeling or the anxious feeling or the overwhelming feeling that before when you were not addressing or looking at it and deciphering and dissecting and really identifying all that which is, right? You get to understand shit from a different perspective. Like knowledge is a power and you have the power to empower yourself with the knowledge that you have. But wisdom is applied knowledge and not everybody does that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> People be knowing a lot of shit, but they don't be knowing it. <laughs> and that's me coming from experience. I'm like, yo, I give the best advice. <laughs> don't mean I always follow it. Now it's a different alignment of thought process and um lesson plan for I too, you know. So you know, 40 plus years I've had a lot of experience to learn that. Listen, I just do <laughs> As I'm the running leg, got it, and protected to doing that. It has no more questions. Well, you do, you ask questions, but you don't fight the process that is for your progress. No more resisting that which is called upon you to just do. You just do that which you must. And that's it. Even if there's no results that you're seeing with it, there will come truth from it for you as long as it's your truth and you're in alignment and you're not overdoing or like over things so that's part of my development these last couple of years and encountering these kind of um especially on social media especially with so much spiritual warfare on social media land everybody's like out it's like scripted <laughs> it's like if everybody's like behind the scenes all actors and you know and it's like that multi-dimensional reality it's just think about the symbol the symbolism of that which i speak whether it be a reality false reality distorted reality whatever the case may be it's like a youtube land of like something like a, a world that people live in the same building <laughs> right or like you know and or a neighborhood like the hills have eyes, <laughs> right? It's all part of the disguise, right? Um, Hollywood eyes. <laughs> but either way, like, you know, it's just like another tinsel town kind of a fact. Life can feel like, seem like, be like, you know what I mean? And so, um, like, part of the conditioning is the robbing of your, your, your ability to just allow yourself to be how you are, take it or leave it. Question me. And if I feel like answering, I will. About my motive. But communication be that potion of elixir. A lot of people like to communicate to somebody else other than the person that is the problem or the challenge that they have to like um, overcome or like learn from or communicate right and so um these are awesome opportunities to like Adele right profit from your hell <laughs> if you don't get to tell or speak you know you get to express yourself and go deep in another kind of path you seek and get the kind of solace that you speak or the peace that you need you know what I mean but you gotta upkeep your own 
upkeep. <laughs> but yeah, what was I saying? I get like the human when she pops back in, she'd be like, <laughs> I mean, record it. <laughs> okay. So, um, Wait, so in my 40 plus years of experience of where I'm at, I think it's important to encourage the you out there who is genuine in your, the way you are with people. What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> I'm so sad. I think I hear paper police. <laughs> an orb. <laughs> it's like an orb now. <laughs> Take an orb. <laughs> orb. Okay, anyways. Um. <laughs> Turn on the fucking lights. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gotta do whenever you feel like you're in the dark, turn on the fucking light, okay? So, yeah, so let's give them something to talk about, right? So, here's a little bit more. You got that boom, boom, boom. You got that boom, boom, boom. Hey, right? um, yeah. And you, and it's not even a one up. And it's not even a, oh, ah, checkmate. Because, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Imagine that again. Turn on the light. <laughs> That's when you see me. All right. Okay. All right. Guys, let's have another, let's have another second. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I turn the light. <laughs> Let there be light. What are we saying? Wait, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm saying a lot. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. And then I hear that. Like, you're probably too very attractive. It doesn't matter what you look like. There is an allure to you. There's something that people look at you. You're seen. And that might bother people that really have battled feeling unseen. So they feel like you can't relate to that because of their perception of you, because of their comparison to that which they're comparing and contrasting what they are, are ruling as being seen. Like you could be an attractive person and they can feel unattractive and they've screwed you in that energy like of envy and jealousy solely because you are attractive because they've judged you in that pretty privilege or you don't know what it's like or boom. Meanwhile, energy is energy. It's just like when people compare and contrast loss. I have put people in a place in my growing pain stage of hearing it. And it didn't even have to be addressed to me, but just the, at the audacity of someone to even implicate or imply or make someone feel some kind of way because their loss is different than their loss and they're comparing or it's like saying like someone that has lost um people in their life and then somebody lost an animal or pet and that person's like like why are you still crying like it was just a pet like I lost my mother the other day Excuse me? Yeah, I miss a little riot firecracker. <laughs> Excuse you? How dare you say such a thing? Loss is loss. Pain is pain. There's no measurement to that. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> hey, so it's like, you know, it's like 
evolution. It's like scolding someone for not being in the state of evolution that you're on, like, and making fun of, like, you're not on my level. Like, granted, you can say that as a line of defense if you want to, or as a word of truth or affirmation for you, like, they're not on my level, I'm not going to even go there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, but, like, the way that we're looking at the drainage of energy or the attack, too, and how it infiltrates our systems is, you know, it's it's needing a little dissecting. You know what I'm saying? A lot of fear propaganda operates, you know, a lot of everything, <laughs> you know, and I see how it is you know, and how it can create the mind stir. Like, I met my unhealthy when I started having healthy relationships with people. I was um, shocked <laughs> at my toxic. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Is this PTSD responding to this healthy situation? You mean me no harm. We are good in alignment and me suspicious of you or creating scenarios in my mind of how all this can go wrong inside, outside. Huh. And I'm not just talking about relationships. Celebrate me the wave, but I encourage in every kind of way to at least after if you, especially if you're not in a relationship anymore, to at least try to go one plus years or more if you can without engaging in sexual activity again or any kind of leveling of anything. <laughs> Give yourself the time. I know. Oh well, I heal and faster than most people. Okay. You don't need an excuse to want to go continue being promiscuous in your behaviors. It's okay to be that if you want to be that. Like, I don't understand what the problem is. It's just like people, because they're shamed for fucking everything. Like, just because I choose to be reserved or celibate in my act and somebody that I can engage with, they have, they date around, they, you know, they have different partners lovers and all that. like how dare I say oh you know that don't be the way although granted if you wanted to get into the swing of energy and just you know consciousness and what we're doing and how we're doing it and what we're taking and what we're not taking and but you know like that's a whole different development but for people that are just casual and they're okay with the casual who the fuck is to tell them any fucking different about their casual but people get shamed for their casual and then you have the people that prefer that denying that because of how it's being shamed upon them and so they're like them being called liars or denying like oh look at you you can't even like you know it's because of the shameful energy that other people are like projecting onto them because of how they're perceiving or just like you know like just not nice <laughs> it's just period A person that's just not nice because they're not happy Misery loves company, period. There's no other explanation for someone to rain on people's parades, even if they feel the other person deserves it. And I'm not talking about extenuating circumstances or unusual, like, you know, this is where people will be like, well, what about if someone does that? This is not what we're talking about. This is everyday, ordinary fucking stuff that you and I, the old, like the people that we are, like here, humans, right? Here, souls having a human experience that you can be the change that you need to be, breed, seed, and desire to see in this fucking world that starts with fucking you. So are you going to act apart just because something could go wrong something could fucking happen you're gonna still play that like what first response to your fucking environment and like live in that cycle of fucking hamster wheel like oh yeah 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 give it to me give it to me give it to me 
The way you can take a fucking back shot, go fucking take the evolution. It's okay. I'm a sexual being too. I'm not shaming or insulting either. Just sarcastic. It's my humor, satirical evolution. And my astrological composition, actually. <laughs> I should be a fucking comedian. <laughs> But wait, my sense of evolution, I feel like I'm always giggling by myself. <laughs> Most people just end up giggling because of my giggle, but I'm usually laughing because I'm fine when I say funny. <laughs> right? So wait, I'm not going to laugh because I'm the only one that finds myself funny. No, I'm going to laugh <laughs> because I find myself funny. So that's the point. Do you? People are gonna be who they are regardless. And if you're and if you're questioning what you're doing, then question your motive as to why you feel the need to do this. And if that's questionable, then don't fucking do it. Cause then you're giving yourself the opportunity to live with regret because uh, later on you might be like, I shouldn't have done that. Right. You had that opportunity of a moment when you were thinking about it and you were you were iffy about it anyways. If you're 50-50 about something, be patient. Don't act in haste. Oh, but it's so pressing. I, I, I there was a uh, a time stamp. Like you know, it had to be by three o'clock p.m. Then if something you know, maybe that's not for you. And if it is, then you will see that by your actions, by making sure that by three p.m. you got what you needed. Period. And if you don't, then maybe that wasn't for you. Did you succeed it? How are you gonna receive that? information the database that is you right the program programmed into you okay and the database system you're operating off of but anyways so it's like learning your own programming for the unprogramming right that's going to be different for everybody so i'm speaking as generally as i can speak using my own human experience as my storytelling time to convey the parable that this all motherfudging is and the mana that is motherfudging here, whether it flies over your head or not. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's cool. Also, you know, out of the darkness emerges light. It's a gift of sight. So use these opportunity times, right? Because life is always in this crossroad moment. You have a choice every single time to choose for yourself that what you do and support yourself behind that what you do. If you're not supporting your actions, then don't fucking do it. If you're going to be all fucked up here and can't sleep, can't eat, like thinking about that, what you've done because you acted in accordance to that, what you felt pressured to do or some shit like that too, then you're fucking your own self up in that kind of department where you're complying to a system that re that you're, you're system like your your whole, pro like your unprogramming database is rejecting, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there's a, like, how do you know truth? There is no question. So if you're questioning shit, you don't know truth. So pause. How the fuck in your not knowing truth stance, you making moves. Like, get the fuck out of here. You're fucking your shit up. That's self-sabotage. Don't make a move. Chill the fuck out. This too shall pass. Start your affirmations at that. Get into your kick-ass stance. I'm powerful at that. I'm not going to react to that. I'm going to breathe, pray, shower, bathe, do whatever the fudge, sage, palo santo, crystal, whatever momentum you have to build yourself. Dance your ass off. Go work it out. Go for a fucking hike. Go fucking chill out. Get a distraction. Ask somebody that you are close to and intimate. If you're in this leveling of journey, there has to be one person that you can, hey, I need a moment. <laughs> can we talk? Or, you know, like, or whatever. Someone that you can trust. And if you can't, I understand that too. 
right? But it should be you that you trust the most in all that you do and all that you decide. If you can't trust your own decisions, then anybody can come in and go for a motherfucking joyride. And that's just truth. It's not a fence. If you're triggered by it, check your system, not my words. Right? So, so, so I'm here to report in my 40 plus years of really like, being the quantum scientist that I am, <laughs> right, for human conditioning. Um, I really am the way that I am because that's my evolution. And I make it a point that I don't do anything that I don't fucking want to do. Call that feministic too or strong because I'm, I'm I'm unified in my masculine and feminine energies. I'm very girly. I'm very also, I take care of shit too. That's been part of my development. Are you going to shame me for that? Having to hold on the fort or just being independent in my own stance, not about being lacking of having choices or anything like that. And I'm not um, depressed or love deprived and I have you know, wonderful relationships that I have with the people that I have close in my alignment of life now. And, you know, and, and, right, like, you know, and I'm so, um, even just like, I'm no longer shocked about my own evolution of growth of love and intimacy because of my own previous past reservations towards certain kind of like conditions like even marriage and how opposed I once upon a time ago like felt so strongly and adamantly about it and I'm not saying oh now marriage is the solution I have a totally different constitution of um intimacy and um connection and um partnering and you know and 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 choosing these partners you know when you come across or you connect with someone in that kind of way and um really understanding the dynamic of my own personal development of patience and how um much my um openness right like and what was perceived to like even be like reserved or you know like or just like standoffish like people were like intimidated to approach sometimes and you know or like so you're gonna bite my head off <laughs> like women power <laughs> or something or even people sometimes mistaking asking me if I was a lesbian at some point too like because you know and I'd be single too because you know you know the celibate activists right like I'm not saying I don't have intimacies or relationships it's just years <laughs> in between like you know very selective very like it's just it is what it is I'm very reserved I, it's not about crave or whatever like I love me time like I think about that in that kind of way like or even just like you know I ask myself those kind of questions too like and straight on like that's why I, like you know anyways and you being highly intuitive like I don't see someone being so highly intuitive dating so much because you see. <laughs> so, like, unless you're just connecting with everybody, then I would think you're just, just desensitized from connection and you're just acting out a need or something, like, you know, something that's not there like you know and uh, uh, crave unless you just want to be promiscuous in that kind of way or like you know and whatever because there's people like that like i've i've, I've gotten i've 
you know, I'm not, again, talking scenarios and stuff like that, but I've had the honor of, I, I, I speak with all walks of life and, and, and deal with many kind of different kind of things and people and situations and stuff like that. And um, it's very interesting, you know, and um, you'd be surprised, like, how... how like people don't know how to honestly convey um, their needs, their wants in some kind of way, but that's not what I was gonna say. Um, hold on one second, I got distracted. Oh, how like it's been a challenge for some people that I've you know we've worked together or just had friendships too it's just you know development of you know our own intellectualism too in our evolution like how do you retain something you understand it understand it and until those two things take place, there is no overstanding and there is no learning from that either, that which you do not retain. You know what I'm saying? So that's why things are seeds and get implanted and they can build. And that's why certain things take time because it's a misaligned. But anyways, we're not going there. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I can just start wrapping it up too. But anyways, I'm tired. I'm like, I'm going to start talking like my sexy voice is going to come out like, hello. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh my God, it's like three something in the morning. Okay, yeah, let me hurry up. No wonder. I'm like, why am I getting so raspy up in here? Oh, it's my sexy voice. <laughs> so much like you tired and go to sleep. We got shit to do. Exactly. So, um, wait, so what was I saying? So, yeah, even it's just been interesting. Like, even people coming into the truth of no like you know like accepting like like you know how like some people will be like oh he's such a like he's a like well let's say like a boy or like uh, a bachelor kind of guy that like you know how they're like um shaming like um what's his name Fuck. the one with the kardashian sister oh, fuck i know it too <laughs> Tristan, Tristan, Tristan Johnson, Thomas, Tom, him, that guy, right? You know who I'm talking about, right? If you're into like all that kind of stuff. So my my backstory with um, any kind of like you know gossip or worldly kind of things, I'm I'm just starting back after like a ten year plus hiatus of like although I be on social media, like I don't I, all worldly events and all things that were like happening in the world, like I only heard through the grapevine like I stood away and um I was healing another aspect of myself of my own sensitivities and getting into my command ship I guess you know and I um didn't watch tv I don't have a tv I still don't have a tv like you know what we do in the in the nook thing area or whatever because you know game review my daughter's life but like um in certain kind of things but um I still like I don't care but like I just this last year or so like between like my intimate friendships and relationships and stuff like that um they have found a way to wean me back into watching stuff so I've been um like watching stuff that people have already seen <laughs> like like even criminal minds like I haven't watched it in a while but I'm just saying like I'm a busy person I'm just saying like when I get these moments like I started watching like even um the Sopranos I didn't see all of it like I saw like bits and pieces and stuff but still like you know these were all things that during my hiatus I, I didn't watch I didn't see I didn't know anything that was happening and so like people are like I'm way like this is where you'd be like oh she's archaic like you my daughter like she makes fun like like yo mom like I'm like okay so there's certain things that I'm seeing now and 
I'm being exposed to because I'm being brought out of my hermit, right? Like kind of, I have, I do have Virgo in my chart. Um, so like, and so I'm dipping my toes in the waters because I know how sensitive I am to information too. And this is the first time me being back out after desensitized, like, you know, like um, going through my hermit recalibration, like of just getting into my power zone our like you know 10 plus years like should take time you know and again somebody could do it in one day like i'm not saying just because 10 plus years with me it's the development of a whole bunch of shit like you know what i'm saying single motherhood too like i'm doing a lot of shit you know what i'm saying holding on many forts and and still finding the time to to be on my ambition and drive like people could hate on that like you know people dislike or get mad and all this kind of stuff and but like at your drive, at your ambition, how passionate you can be and all they can think about is their responsibilities and their inability to get past their responsibilities and do the little extra that they want to do for themselves. And so instead of like appreciating you or being inspired or motivated by you, they said they project onto you that which is their own failures or perceived failures and that kind of shit. And they shame you for that shit kind of thing and energetic diss, right? Even though they don't say it. So it's like that energetic like, like fucking checkers that everybody want to fucking play and like no more right like anyways it was like a side kind of thing um because there's a lot of shit <laughs> going in because i guess somebody needs to hear that too so like don't get like you know um don't lose whom you are just because you're surrounded by a bunch of unevolved people that have you as the example that they need to be and unfortunately even though that they're gonna make you feel like you pay for that like feeling outcasted in some kind of way or like ignored or not recognized because of how impactful you are to their energy and you know this that's why the the falseness of the reality bothers you in the 3d like like your whole thing can be like, yo, why are you like, I know, I know. But because it's not something you can like catch or hold or be tangible because it's energy, it's spiritual, right? It's, it's, it's this, 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 this mind fuck, right? This, this, this game people like to play and all this kind of stuff. The best position you could ever be in is in your fucking truth. So they can play and, you know, do all the kind of stuff that they want to do. But awareness be you, especially when you hip to that shit too. And you go through the evolution. And, you know, people say, oh, age got nothing to do with all this kind of stuff or whatever. But age got like life experience over someone's life experience if age is going to play. That's why I've had a whole revolution, evolution of that with, and a newfound respect for even my elders, even when they might be in a lesser evolution than I to appreciate the wisdom and the contribution of the experience of them to have the respect for them still in this life and that's a choice of mine some people could be like oh you're an old thing you're you're so outdated and blah, blah. you can fight the war and you can say all this kind of stuff but like we have so much all to learn from one another despite our differences and generations and stuff like that if you're breaking generational curses and all this kind of shit doesn't mean that you curse all the others and it doesn't mean that you um over like throw, like you know it doesn't make yours better than anything like you, anyways I know you want to go into that <laughs> what is saying oh my goodness so much <laughs> Oh my goodness. So if you are here and you tuned in, tapped in, turned on to all of this, and you know, I do a lot of variety of hits and stuff like that, and you tuned in for this, I love you. <laughs> Seriously, like you listen, like what do you grasp from all of this? Like kind of stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm I was talking to you, but like still, thank you. I'm appreciative, but now like, you know, um anyways. <laughs> What were we talking about? She bought. 
shit crazy. Oof. We were talking. <laughs> we were. We were. This sure was a babble. Just gathering. I can pause this and gather and then unpause. But I got to get even more comfortable with my uncomfortable and just simply be. And if 10 fucking minutes pass in between all these kind of, I got to gather my kind of things, then so, so it be. You can forward it yourself. You want to skip the line. <laughs> but process should be taking time. Mm hmm Poet is divine. Mm hmm Read between the lines. Okay. This is enchanting bubble time. Mm hmm all right so did you grasp that did you bring a notebook always bring a notebook always 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 there's much to extract there's much to recover uncover discover yeah that's what evolution is all about not being stuck on stupid <laughs> yeah we don't want to be stuck on stupid but Sometimes we can be too tired and be stupid. <laughs> uh, and start like having, like, I'm not going to draw blanks, but still watch me lay down and like, go, I'm like, ah, oh, that's what I was saying. Either way, it goes a long way. And I'm thirsty too. Hold on a second. That I'm going to go through. Yeah, I wrote some things down because tired being my life <laughs> at this moment in time, right? So um, when I speak words of empowerment, so I would like to correct my last sentence and just whatever. <laughs> I canceled it out. Anyways, always make your mark, right? Um, Pretty much the whole point and purpose of this entire video or the inspiration behind it was to speak to those of you that do understand what I'm talking about. Like when like you're over people pleasing and you're just in a different position or place to really like dive a little deeper and go into that space and really help yourself to just um, better identify um, your participation and what you do at every single time, just conscious be life, right? And so use this gift of sight to present to you with clarity the pathways you have and the choices you have here in front of you in your truth, like, you know, how something feels to you, right? And if you're feeling a type of way, getting into the root of that feeling, right? And understanding it better for yourself. So in this whole lesson of life of discernment and learning and overly people pleasing and depleting myself and understanding the energy of certain kind of things later, because time had to pass, experience had to be, but lesson learner desire is desired within me. I always want to grow from everything. And that's just a position I'm in. And I understand that. And it's always been part of my evolution, right? So um, understanding these levelings of constitution within ourselves, and you know, we have all these experiences that are opportunities for us to understand the inner dynamics of ourselves better. Like, so, um, so in this process journey of my own self evolution of understanding why I do what I do, when I do how I do, there's nothing that I don't do, right? That I don't want to do. So for example, with the story that I was sharing about, um, I did something kind and I had this whole revelation about how it was going to go down energetically. And I still did the kind deed anyways. Because that's what I sought to do. That's what I wanted to do. That was because I saw it and identified it. It was the right thing to do. And that's it. Period.
and I'm okay with every kind of scenario of play, by play. Well, I got heavy Scorpio on my chart. I wrote a million and one books of every kind of scenario that could play motherfucking out and have gone through every maze of that journey to decide my action before I did what I did because I saw what I saw and I understood what I knew and I just operated in accordance to my truth, right? And so, so like, for example, even if, like, let's say you, you... you go and run across the street and you tell this person who's surrounded by people that know her and like supposedly care and you know they have seen her truly sometime and maybe some of them are hating her and on the slide and want her to trip or something at this time and you go all the way out of your way to the stranger and you say <laughs> you shoelace it sometime. And the bitch turn around because crowd be her toxicity, right? These people that knew her shoelace was on time, right? I just like, stay your lane. <laughs> she just want to be part of our crew. <laughs> Go back over there to the other side of the street, okay? And so then... You could turn around and you'd be like, why do I subject myself to such annoyances or like, or injustices or like, just like, really? Like, you know, and you can go through all the motions. You can fight back, um, say something. You can um, rip, a, rip this person a new asshole if you wanted to, like, you know, but you can just laugh at the audacity or get mad at the audacity too like you know all these choices that we have that play out too right but getting down to the root of that like you'd be like oh that person is a real jerk like okay like whatever but if you go into your intuition and you're like, I knew, you know, I knew this person was going to be a jerk, but I still wanted to tell them that their fucking shoelaces on tie because vision be eyes so that you could trip at that time and that would satisfy a lot of eyes and I'm just looking out. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Right? Um, do you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and do you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Right? Um, and, you know, whatever. That was like, a stretch of an exaggeration of a scenario, but it's just to give the scenario of like how people could just, they can be suspicious or it's just audacious. <laughs> I don't know what, yeah, I, that's a song and he says in the song and it, audacity, because the song is audacity. So, and then, but they say it with the with, um, English accent, audacity audacious i don't know <laughs> audacity but um you know what i mean um you can get mad at the the corniness of the individual or whatever the case may be and hold a grudge and grudge monster becomes the she or he that doesn't let go of the embarrassment maybe you feel so go to the so it's just going to the truth of the situation like you know that was a little bit embarrassing and that like i feel a little dumb right now like we're doing that, but you know what? I I really wanted to tell them that there's really this wasn't tight. And so I I'm I'm good with that. Peace. Kumbaya. Right? I can sleep at night. Granted. Right? So now the next time you see that person. You don't even look that way to know if their shoelace is untied or not. To even be able to be um like um what's the word I'm looking for? Um <laughs> oh 404. 404. 404. 404. 8. 8 is great, right? Okay, we're going in. But um like what's the word? <laughs>
go on to the screen here that sees me. Oh dear, I'm flirting with myself. <laughs> uh, do that. Go to the mirror and flirt with yourself. You cute as hell. Be like, oh my god, you're so cute. But can I like? But can I? Can I have that? Can I like lick you all up? <laughs> Can I, can I make you feel good before you pass out and go to sleep? Can I be everything that you dream? Mm-hmm. Let's go into this fantasy <laughs> of everything. That'd be you and me. Um, chemistry. Ooh, flame on. Okay, what are we talking about? I gotta go to dreamland. <laughs> right, so... um. Yeah, so next time you see this person coming from over there, and you're like, fuck that, man. You're like, all right. Like, last time I was, like, nice, I'm just, like, whatever. So you don't even look that way to even notice if anything, to be tempted, temptation, that was the word I was looking for, to be tempted to even be a good Samaritan. <laughs> Yeah, I love Jesus too. Okay, so I I like that good Samaritan concept of living like no no good deed goes unnoticed by God, right? But that's not why you're the good Samaritan. You're the good Samaritan because it's just the right thing to do, and it's what you want. It's just ingrained in your being to want to do these things, not for the recognition or the acknowledgement, but because it's just altruistic within your nature to just hey. It came into my inspired thoughts of being, and this is just what I'm creating in this atmosphere too, because it's fucking needed, right? Because most people are not seeing that solution. And yet here you are unique as you can be coming with a different route of how to do this alchemy. And it's just like, oh, I, I play the strings a little bit differently. Okay, I like your song. Okay. Right, so, so, so I wrote down lessons of being kind, right? Um, right, despite the lack of kind or energy reciprocated, I learned that I'm still going to be kind anyway. Because it's just in my nature. It's my disposition. Right? It's just an example of one piece of something, right? But it's my truth. I'm just, I'm just highlighting one particular truth of my many truths, okay? There's many truths. So I'll be like, oh my God, I feel like I know you. No, you don't. Although we can resonate and connect and stuff like that. We have many multidimensional lives of existence of so much before we can, <laughs> you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, no, I was being my thing. Confusion. Anyways, um, a lot of people could read tarot cards. Not everybody could see. That's it. <laughs> And I'm not claiming to be superior to anything, anyone, or anything like that. These facts are actually kind of fun. Um, my liberation has been one within my being. So I speak freely. You know, you are free to see, be, do however you want to see, be free, be, do, to do, you know? I'm just here to cool, calm, and collect, right? So we good. So yeah. So oh, going back to the Tristan Thompson thing, right? So this is just a highlight of certain kind of things of like just understanding the dynamics of our of human evolution and their conditioning. Like, like so much um, fabrication has been submitted into the indoctrination of our human conditioning platform template that most people don't feel open or safe to truly be themselves, right? And this is part of the fucking chaos in the environment that is just so convoluted and distorted 
then you got a lot of fuck shit happening in the environment being sold as revolution evolution and acceptance and all this fucking shit is going on right talk about leftists and rightists and all this kind of movements and this and that and (laughs) so much shit being pushed and fed into our children out there like shown as liberation and rights being removed and this and all this kind of stuff and you can get into the politics and so what a year i picked the right time to come back into the in the thick of it (laughs) so that's what i was saying even from before and then i'm back on um dipping my toes into the waters of watching shows and reading news articles and seeing the you know fake news the real news the this news and that stuff and actually seeing stuff that's worldly happening as it's happening right so um and I like this disposition of observation and um detachment in my ability to right um receive this and not be you know whatever even when it's something that is i'm highly sensitive strong pisces in my chart right it doesn't matter what is in my chart that's all humanoid shit right fed on a stick that does energetically apply because it has been transitioned conditioned and template in our lives a blueprint for our skies but it doesn't always apply you know what i'm saying so it's just something to you know it's another tool to use and utilize if you can you do if you're interested so what you know what i'm saying but hold on to it like the way you would salt in your hands <laughs> it's not gonna stay there man you know what i'm saying so the evolution of you um and all that we do so right so this so i've been a little up to date <laughs> I even um, had watched some, not all, because like you said, busy be our life. Like, it doesn't mean just because I'm back in watching doesn't mean I devote any time to it. It's when I can. So it's like, it's in a natural state. It's not like I'm making time for TV or doing it deliberately. It's just when it happens, it happens. You know what I'm saying? And I'm allowing it this time. I'm participating in it. And I'm paying attention to wherever I find that I'm paying attention to or drawn to and stuff like that or whatever. So I even had like, um, um, watch some of the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp stuff, not all of it, like, you know, but I, I pretty much, I even did, um, a YouTube video with cards that I felt, you know, compelled to just fuck around for a little bit. I don't really like to tap in and go into people's businesses and all that kind of stuff because that's not, my kind of environment like I'm not a gossip I don't gossip about people and shit like that so I try to make it as general and just insightful based on the publicity of it anyways nothing like you know cray cray but you know what can I say like you know it's just not like you know my cup of tea cup of tea I could do that with all the popularity and all that kind of stuff or whatever it's just again my stance my position like um you know, whatever, like, if I can utilize it educationally wise, like, in some kind of way, then fine, but to get into the business of people's business, like, that ain't my shit, like, and that's none of my business, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so, mm-mm. so that's how that be, and I just respect everybody on that kind of, like, thing, especially for the type of work that I do, where I deal with a lot of personal information, too, and I respect every soul, um, whether we speak again or not, like, you know, and plus I don't hold on to people's information. Like, that would be, A, that would be retarded for me to do, to hold on to people's baggage. Or, hey, 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 what are you doing? You playing? I hope not fighting. I love you. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, um, sorry. <sighs> okay. So, oh, yeah. So, so whatever. So I know a little bit about like not so much, but like I've heard through Grapevine. <laughs> I've heard some stuff, like I've seen some stuff, but he's pretty much just to generalize and like again, I don't know him personally. Again, this is speculation. I don't know. I didn't do readings for these people and I don't know these people and until they're in front of me for me to see CC. <laughs> 
this is all speculation you know what i mean um so but in the media they got him pinned like this fuck boy energy that's unfaithful and all this kind of stuff and things like that but it's a perfect example of the evolution of the human condition to um, adapt in an environment that causes you to be dishonest with your true emotions, feelings, and placement that you would go to all these extra miles and lengths to be deceptive in your acts just because a part of you does want some of this in some kind of way and then another part of you doesn't like so you know these are like hardcore questions that if you're like dating someone or you meet someone that you actually like like or you find yourself attracted or drawn to and this is chemistry then you know the dynamics of do we want the same things and what is it that I want from this these are honest questions that we should be first like before even having other people have within ourselves to know your truth because also empathic we our natures in many kind of ways that we get put in the position of not wanting to make someone feel bad or they give off a, dis- a different kind of display or especially if you're overly sexualized in some kind of way where you could get tempted in that kind of way so even though you could be strong and all that person's not really not for me but then they turn you on sexually then you can get distorted in your kind of thing when they come manipulatively like with their energy of that and like you know to seduce you in that kind of way to get you in that lore to keep you in that kind of way because that's the the connection of intuitive unspoken truths and that's how people can play you they play you on your sympathy they play you on your empathy they play you and your ability to be forgiving or this and that and all this kind of stuff and it's intuition because who said this and who did that because this wasn't a conversation we had it's perception right and so then we, people become manipulative of the perceptions that they see and they try to make things go in their favor. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. So those are different kinds of energies. And I don't even know where I was going with all that. Oh, yeah, but that, that now I do. <laughs> Just in Thomas, right? So an idealistic utopian society, right? Which is utopian.com. You can go over there too because that's <laughs> um, my website over there, which is utopian.com, okay? So yeah, go check that out. Um, yeah. Um, um, he's getting, like, trashed in the media for being this womanizer and baby daddy making machine, right, and, like, dropping them left and right and all this kind of stuff, right, and being all this, like, machismo, like, don't give a fuck, kind of, like, how can you do this, like, you know, oh my gosh, like, kind of stuff. But, you know, let's not talk about track record. Let's not talk about um, behavioral patterns and conditionings, red flags from Jump Street and all this kind of stuff that people can actually clearly see and then make the choice because everybody always has that choice, that pathway, that path passageway, like, you know, about certain kind of things that you allow in your atmosphere or experience, like later on, most of the times when we are disappointed with the love relationship that we have or intimate partner that we have and later on when we really ask ourselves about that like the the anger that we really had was towards ourselves for allowing certain kind of things to take place for as long as they did the regret that you have is in the time that you wasted or or felt that you didn't um get what you desired or wanted and so like it becomes like this leveling of disappointment and stuff like that hopefully you heal from that and do not become bitter from that and learn from that and grow from that so that you can have the next experience where you're a little bit more honest with yourself about how you feel um and what is happening here and not just trying to comply or be a conform in some kind of way um to that which people have to say but that's another thing back to the um, conformity of life right where um people in their conditioning like have been for so long made to feel some type of way shamed or like unable not safe just not a safe environment to express yourself in a whole honest authentic way without being judged in some kind of way or made to feel some type of way or labeled or like whatever like you know even with this whole like um transgender community with children and stuff like that and the development and the interference of the development of children that people are um deciding for you know, an adolescent in such an early state of development to decide for them and 
agree or guide or lead or say that this is right or to do this and this kind of stuff at such an early stage of early childhood development, like, you know, um, brings about the ludicrousness and a lot of this, like, is this, um, you know, um, child, um, child abuse too, you know, because people playing out their um, inability in their youth to become this voice of, you know, um, truth for themselves. And so, you know, they say the, the, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree kind of development, you know what I mean? These cycles of development and the, the moving times and how that can influence and distort our population and make people go blind and think that you're supporting a cause because this is not right. It's just like the whole abortion fucking arguments about stuff like I get the right whatever like whatever the case may be but the argument that most people are fucking arguing is the right to kill just something and I'm not saying that people there's not extenuating circumstances and all this kind of stuff and again I'm not going left or right with any of this motherfucking stuff and this is not even about that my opinion is going to be my opinion and I have every right to opinionate as I do and I just think the whole raw 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 and the argument that people are arguing over having the right to terminate and stuff at whenever they fucking want and all this kind of stuff the the fact that this world comes to that they're arguing for the right to do that is where my conundrum of like are we really arguing this right now like this is an argument so like for me it's like moral compass like that should just be um right like 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 just this moral compass of um doing the right thing <laughs> period but the argument and the fight and I because I've heard people speak about this is my body and I can do anything and the 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 level of death being insinuated as a liberation for life is ludicrous to me. Like, let's just say, okay, so you just want the right that even if you're like six months pregnant to terminate your pregnancy, if you so choose, let's just say that. And and you don't care if it's like, like you don't care what that looks like. Like, you know, like it's just like, be blunt as can be about what it is that you're saying and you're arguing. But if you're saying that if a woman was raped and all this kind of stuff, she should have the right to choose to terminate all this kind of stuff, that would be pretty logical common sense and moralistic right to only be right for the person that that applies to but the fact that the whole world has come to my whole point of that is the fact that the whole world has come to this argument about this right for me is like preposterous like what So to get me involved in that kind of argument or fight would make me feel stuck on stupid. And so I just, you guys are fighting over that. How about just doing the right fucking thing? Right? But whatever. That'll become the argument. But what is the right fucking thing, right? Anyways, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> but anyways, so, but the conditioning of the environment, of the enslavement, of not being able to express thyself freely and be all that you desire to be and want to be without any kind of, like, um, persecution is rather difficult in our conditioned society and environment, right? So, like, with the Tristan Thomas shit, right? Like, again, nobody knows what's going on behind the scenes, and again, I'm not pulling any cards to find out anything, and, I'm, and this is, again, this is just speculation of what is publicly made known, right? And I'm not intuitively diving in, I'm not I'm minding my lane. <laughs> I'm just speaking about this educationally for that kind of entertain, right? All I'm saying is that in a healthy development of emotional maturity and evolution in his development from childhood, adolescent, childhood, from, you know, infantry, childhood, adolescence, and growing up into his manhood, fatherhood, like, you know, position stance, like, um, understanding his lands, like, hey, 
I'm, I, I don't want to settle down at this time, but I like hooking up like with chicks and stuff like that. So ideally, like in a utopian society, it would be that this dude would be like hooking up with these chicks, but making it very clear, hey, um, there's no attachments here. And if I get you pregnant in some kind of way, because I, I, I want to be a father and stuff like that, are you cool with that? <laughs> But I might not stick around or, you know, like, but that's emotional maturity and evolution. And then the female gets to decide if that's what she wants at this time. And if you stick around and then you want to cry, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, red flags also show true when behavioral patterns and conditionings repeat themselves. And it's like, okay, you keep on, like, you know, learn behaviors, change behaviors. So you keep on allowing, then is it, do you really want this? And maybe you like this instead, right? So trauma bonding, right? So anyway, it's like, where was I going with all that? But oh yeah, so the whole point of that is just the identification tag of our conditioning of so many people's inability to properly communicate their truths. And um, so I'm a big advocate of that. Like, um, so as I have my epiphanies, that might come through as babbles there's mana in there for you to fucking eat and apply to you as you will it's so sweet you know what i'm saying um but um yeah be mindful about what you eat especially from other energies but knowing your truth about why you do what you do how you do when you do it doesn't matter another person's position towards you because you move how you move right and if you feel wrong when you did right and the next time you you don't necessarily overly apply or even try like I said like the next time you see that person that you last time that was rude to you when you was just being nice and told them that their shoelace is inside the next time you saw them, you avoided them like the fucking plane. Like, fuck you. Like, you're not going to ruin my day. So goodbye. Have a nice day. Like, you don't even entertain. It's not bitter. It's not spiteful. It's not vengeful. It's not like, oh, you're going to get your karma kind of like full and all this kind of stuff. Because if those things are taking place, then I'm, I'm like, okay. Like, then that's a... a, a a mirror to you to check yourself too about what's really bothering you because it got nothing to do with the other person no matter how much you're projecting it out onto that person that person is just the icing on the cake to um bring about something that was brooding beneath the surface anyways anyways whatever it is what it is that looks like i have a wig when i go that way <laughs> let me see hold on In the way, there's always like the conspiracy theorists too about all the ruse that happens around the planet to keep us away from that which is actually <coughs> occurring. <Ooh. coughs> <Coffee. coughs> always make your mark. Always make your mark. But know what that is. So that way, when you do what you do, how you do, even if it doesn't pan out how you wanted it to or others didn't respond to you in the way you wish they had, At least you're powerful in your stance of I am power. It's like eating alone about, I want to say, I thought it was, um, a toddler. She was a toddler. She's 21 now. And um, it was one day, I, I don't know why I wasn't working. I don't remember. 
but I had the day off, obviously. And she was in school. Daycare. Summer. She was summer. This may not have even been during the week. I don't know what day of the week it was. I don't know what day this was. I'm just going into the memory of the importance. The important part of the memory. <laughs> so I'm extracting. Not the details. I don't fucking know the details right now. That was a long ass time ago. But the whole quest for me that early brunch lunch time was to eat in a public place by myself and not skedaddle out of there like <laughs> mid meal or or cancel myself out and um really not be and not be so much on my phone or like not be distracted like and and at that time I think I don't know what kind of we didn't have technology like the way we did <laughs> like no it wasn't as like the way it is now when my daughter was a toddler like I wasn't glued to my phone I wasn't operating like that but <laughs> um or in technology you know what I mean um at that stage I was just blogging writing stuff like that um ghost writing um yeah and so this was a like again like I said I don't remember the details of the day of the week it was but I remember going into this diner and it was packed <laughs> and I was introduced to my own awkwardness at this time because I realized I still do talk to myself like so I'm like oh my god you can look at me and I'm over here just talking to myself <laughs> And I was met with all these awkward sensations that I was determined to get through this meal. And I swear, it took forever to come. <laughs> Everything was longer. I had un like unwanted conversations with just strangers that because I was by myself, they felt the need. Because people do this. People go by themselves and they eat. Like, you know, so I was near the people that I got sat near people that were like by themselves too. So people want to make conversation with you. And I was like, no. <laughs> no like, even if it's just small talk, because obviously you're a table away. And so, like, yeah, but it's just like the sweat factor. Like, I'm not a sweater. Like, I don't. I don't like, I'm not a sweater. I don't do things to sweat. <laughs> That's why um, my exercises are fun and involve water if there's ever sweat to be involved. <laughs> like if we're going to work out, there's like a pool or something like right there that we're going to jump into or something like that. Like a body of water that we submerge our hot selves in because then I'm not doing it. <laughs> we do fun stuff or like I like um and like you know like again like I said I was like raised martial arts and like karate kind of stuff and um self-defense and um yoga like um those kind of things I do and dance and all that kind of stuff but um fun things swimming I love swimming I used to play volleyball kickball like sports like softball like you know like I play sports like you know things Anyways, <laughs> to keep myself active. But what was I saying? Wait, so. Uh, I'm gonna start wrapping this shit up. But what was I saying? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm tired. Look at my eyes. I feel like. And the longer I say, like, it's 434 four now. <laughs> this is a long one. And if you're still here, are your eyes getting smaller and smaller and chinkier? Are you here? Like, I'm just, like, ready. Like, so I know that as soon as I hear my pillow, I'm just like, I got to change. So I got to do a few things before I go to sleep, sleep. So, hey. ¿Qué tú hacer? So, but I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's just go to the wrapping it up part. 
I guess. And if I'm watching back and playing back myself and see where I missed, I'll take notes and write down the points that I didn't finish saying. But oh, about the eating, I was eating by myself. Right. So <laughs> I feel like those of you that have tapped in, turned on, tuned in, and do watch and have that leveling of evolutionary discipline, that even if you don't watch it all the way through and you watch it in bits and parts and pieces, like I do, like, if there's a long video that I watch or something, I'm a busy alchemist, as are you. Like, especially we're connecting, too. We got a lot of things, too. We're pulled in many different kind of directions, and we got a lot of shit going the fuck on. So it's not realistic for me to say, oh, yeah, I could sit down and watch a whole motherfucking TV show and, like, enjoy it. That's why since my daughter, too, we like, mom, if you're not going to be able to watch the whole episode, then we're not going to watch it. And so then it becomes a conscious effort, like, okay, I can do this. When we watch it, I can watch an episode. All right. And then that's how we do. And then that's our time. Like, you know, because she's like, whatever. Or the same thing with my, like, my best friend, too. And I'd be like, okay, are you going to sit and watch it? And I'm like, wait, I need 15 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, even though I'm back in and, like, you know, participating in certain kind of things, like, I also am very, um, um, High performance, hyper, hyper performance. <laughs> All my performances are hyper. I was like, I go to sleep, like I'm exhausted. I've been up since Matt early from the other day. It's 4 35 and 6. And I'm going to sleep a good equivalent enough hours for my beauty, sleep enough for me to need. But like, I know I, <laughs> I'm still hyper. <laughs> Don't think that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll go to sleep. But like, I'm, I, you know, I do. I'm here because I want to be here. Like, you know, I'm not doing anything that I don't want to do. So it's just like that extra adrenaline and energy to do that which you love, right? That's, that's the, that's the mistake of the worry and the fear of the lack of reality perception when you don't have or see that which you desire. And it's hard to build your own empire when you feel like you're the only one building that vision that you see because there's no energy supportive of that in the way that you feel that you need. And so you feel like you go at it alone in a lot of kind of compartments and departments and stuff like that and getting into the stance of truth of empowerment that um, has you stand powerfully even if you fucking stand alone, you know? And that's gonna come from your truth and reason. Like, you know, understanding that what you do and why you do what you do when you do and how you do, you know, and um, I know it can seem neurotic and like, oh, my God, that's just so much conscious effort to give to fucking everything on top of everything that you fucking do. But if you want it, you're going to do it, period. And if you're not, you can do as much as you can and you should learn to start appreciating that what you do, because that's an effort that many don't fucking do. So... Keep it up. Increments. Everything is fucking increments. You decide to increment the measure, the feeling, the time. Okay, so. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> oh, I mean. Right, so, um, right, so, mm, mm, I feel so bad. <laughs> so, yeah, so, feel empowered in your position that's different, even though you stand alone and how you do what you do. So like going back to like the lesson with my daughter about when she was like, mom, you don't need to do that. Or like when she would put me or check me or checkmate me, which was, which I wasn't triggered by or insulted because it, 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 it brought for a good um, self-educational introspection and debate. Because sometimes I um, challenged her, her, her position and that the times that I started challenging her was when I started getting stronger in my truth 
So sometimes even though she'd be like, mom, you don't have to do like, or you don't have to be like, you know, they don't care. Like if let's say I said something that she felt like I didn't need to say, like, you know, sometimes you feel like the foot in the mouth disease or you just say too much. I don't say anything that I don't care someone to know. So if you find that what I say seems like too TMI, like TMI, that's your perception. And so since I'm in my truth and I understand this, understand this, understand this with myself, then if you hit me with that, I'm safe to say, no, nah, I'm good. I know what I said and I'm cool with that. I don't care. If that seems like TMI, it was said because I was okay saying it. I'm, I'm good. Like, you know, I can see what you mean, but it don't bother me. Like, I don't care if they don't care. I said it anyways. Right. So, and then, and, but in the beginning part, like, just because, you know, won't be her way, like, I raised her very differently from, you know, my, it was like a double-edged sword in many kind of ways, because I didn't want to go the traditional conventional way that I was, I was raised because that was not good, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm perfect, but... You know, and I, I, I never wanted to suppress, oppress, or deny. And I can see now it, how much this world is getting so, like, distorted, toxic, and blind. Um, you know, that it's been a dangerous time. Like, it could have went many different ways. Like, the way that my family would try to make me feel, like, in raising my daughter, that she was going to walk all over me because of my protection over her liberty. And so part of my development as her mother was to observe that which was being said and thrown her way, whether it was toxic or not. Behavioral patterns and conditionings, people throwing her, you know, so anyways, like that's not what this is about. But, um, you know, in that kind of discernment, but in the beginning part, when it was a trigger for me, all these developments, inner question, quest started to like, wait a minute, did I speak too much? Like, so remember, how do you know truth? There's no question. So here I am in my question. So there's no argument. Cause I don't even fucking know right now. So let me check myself. So I've been real consistent with that kind of self discipline. Got a lot of Saturn shits in my placements. <laughs> a lot of like 12 house crazy stuff and a lot of stuff going on, you know, astrologically speaking, but it makes sense sometimes. <laughs> like, oh, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, fun, be my wave, right? Uh huh. So, um, so the insight that I'm just sharing, you know, it's still a work in progress. We are masterpieces, right? Always a work in progress. We are a work of art. Connect with the art, the artist that is you. And find your expression. And set it free. Let it be part of your conditioning and oppression and behavioral patterns and conditionings that you're breaking free from is that silence spot that has caused you to suppress, deny, or have to be emotionally manipulated in some kind of way or made not to say or felt unheard in every kind of way. And it's been a pain, right? sucks being the only one you got humans wanting to be better than other humans because that's part of their conditioning so their fight and rise out of oppression they 
face their oppressor, their abuser. And right they are to feel injustice. And here we have an opportunity to really see it for what it is from our perspective, knowing that even from our perspective, we can only know and be in our own truth. So let us shift thinking we can understand another placement, even if you are intuitive, even if you are psychic, even if you can see. My part of your development too is coming to truth that you can't fuck potential which has been a hiccup, right? For some allowances of energies you have allowed in your life that you'd be like, oh, I should have known better, right? Because you were fucking potential. Everybody has potential. Doesn't mean they're gonna reach or operate from their highest potential. So that might be a lesson that takes quite a few rounds to learn because Potential looks good. And potential will fuck you just right. Distorted be life, right? And um, and these things could be disheartening too. These experiences. These alone, lone moments. Understanding lonely and alone and perspective and introspection and space. I have made it and you know, it also goes with the strong Sagittarius in my chart, right? Um, the freedom loving, independent and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yada, 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 it makes sense, right? And there's many different other placements in my chart and all this kind of shit. Like I'm just picking um, a piece. Right. And, um, and that's one of the things that Sagittarian energies are notorious for, but yet you'll see married Sagittarians, you know, for years, right? Divorce, you see all kinds of Sagittarius, like whatever the case may be. So it means they can settle down, like what's so the components in the chart that will make up that difference if you're going from the astrological factor and all this kind of stuff but you know this is holistic so we're looking at whole perspectives right and there's many different factors and variables that'll play into a reasoning as to why someone is the way they are and all this kind of shit but we're just speaking from an astral perspective because i like to enlighten with that kind of shit so that's just my preference okay it's not my deliberation it's not my factoid it's just my symbolic way to express and convey that which I like to convey and express and you articulate it in your own kind of symbolism of way and let it just eat the fucking mana you know what I mean so um what was I saying <laughs> I was saying something I get all like side swipes over here right no my position over here <laughs> So tired. I'm gonna go to sleep after this. Well, I have a few things to do, like I said. Like, you know, what was I saying? Gather my focus. Focus, focus. Hold on. Right, like there's just like a whole multi-dimensional aspect that makes up the whole to anything. So it's just like saying, relying solely on astrology and saying, oh, it's my Sagittarius quality in my astrology chart that is responsible for my need for independence and, you know, all this kind of, you know, philosophical kind of stuff or whatever and, and need for freedom. And so it would make sense that my high respect and honor towards other people and their freedom right like so like in understanding that development of me in my personal relationships like where I'm not like clingy or 
you know, freedom loving. Everybody got space. I need space. You need space. We all need space. You know, we commune in this space, like, you know, and everybody communes harmoniously and all this kind of stuff. And I also couldn't psychoanalyze that into the abuse aspect of my life where I come from a very strict environment and it was, I was, <sighs> anyways, a strict abusive environment that was not fair. And because of that environment, I had a strong opposition, like I, I was repulsed by anybody that would be restrictive to anybody, which is a huge, um, it's a huge influence in how I chose to psychologically go about raising my daughter in regards to not allowing patterns, behaviors, and conditionings to be the root and example of upbringing. So whenever I was met with something that was a challenge, like fear of something bad gonna happen, but having to um, allow her the freedom to live her life and be that supportive, harmonious, not toxic mother that puts fear propaganda in her mind but to do everything that I can possibly do to protect her the best that I can in this time and to operate in that kind of alignment and not be some kind of um, toxicity that brings her a energy that need not be like, you know, because that's the kind of environment too that I'm this generational curse breaking kind of breaking patterns it starts with me right I'm the breed of seed I'm doing things differently so it's just like whenever Olivia spoke back let's say to like my father or something and he's like don't be disrespectful mama bear comes into the mix heard the whole conversation and then addressed it accordingly how was that disrespectful assess the situation whenever there's been a time that let's say I assess the situation and my child is in the wrong let's say right um it's it's just a moralistic principle and the place that you're gonna do are you gonna emotionally manipulate or threaten or punish or do that which you know people do when they feel no sense of control right when you punish or, or feel the need to manipulate or control is because you feel like you don't have it and so you'll do anything to have it and unfortunately for some many people suffer because of that right so finding the um, success and not repeating the same in a different way even catching that, like, okay, I may not do it in that way, but am I doing it in another way? You know, nobody's perfect. There's no parenting style that's perfect. And it's going to be the right kind of way. Everybody's unique into their own situation. But I had a very unique position of being literally the only one. Even amongst my friends, I was the only one that had a kid figuring this shit out. Right. So and having to hold down the fort at the same fucking time. And trust, there were haters then at that time too. Many close because tolerant and passive be the nature of those that have those qualities of humanitarianism and self-sacrifice, selflessly living, learning from your own mistakes, not repeating the same mistakes or evolving past your circumstance and experience and not creating excuses for your condition, your position. Finding resolution, solution, 
not just whining and complaining and pointing your finger and wanting and seeking revenge and looking forward to someone getting the justice that you feel they deserve to receive the karma, which will be justice that you think you'll receive. Mm, that feels good, you know what I mean? I have had people do really bad things to me and I have never imagined back to them something horrible. Even if I had every right to wish that upon them. And that doesn't make me better than anybody who has wished bad upon someone that has done something to them because people do real fucked up evil shit. I'm not saying that. And I'm not gonna allow another energy to ever fucking make me feel like I'm on some kind of high horse or superiority or I'm thinking I'm better or I have a fucking answer in a way. No, I just have my way that I have paid attention to so that I can see what works and what doesn't fucking work for me. And I just get real brutally honest with my fucking self. And it's either I be about it or I don't, but I'm, I'm not to complain. Right, so, um, so it's just a matter of how are you gonna go about, and make your mark <laughs> without losing yourself in the process so that whole thing like with Tristan Ch Thompson like imagine an ideal world if he was really true to himself about what his plans were when it involves somebody like if you want to go about and be about your business and you're not affecting other people then go about your business but when you're affecting other people and in order to get them to ride with you side with you align with you you gotta manipulate it too or be deceptive about that too then nah that's not good <laughs> that's not good right and of course that will blow up eventually in everybody's face because that's just the way it is nobody needs to pull cards for that <laughs> it's just the way it is when it will happen that's what people want to pull cards for but that's not how divine right timing works. And sometimes until you release that control of needing or seeking or waiting to see, your karma just might be the weight out of that kind of being. What, you're going to die with that kind of thing? That's heavy. I'm all about release. Healing. It feels better to be peaceful than to be lacking in peace. And I've had both. I prefer the peace. Feels better. <laughs> you know what I mean? I recommend that for everybody. But yeah, so I'm tired. <laughs> <We're bad. laughs> Start babbling. I'm not even finishing what I was saying. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying anymore. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just going to give my closing statements. That's right. <laughs> closing statements. Be you. And just don't feel or subject yourself to feeling used or abused or neglected. It's time for introspection whenever that's detected. Because your environment is only revealing to you a mirror of that which needs to be revealed unto you that needs to see the creation of many kind of things. But anyways, um, so I did something kind and I saw every effect and I can give two flying fucks because I know and I see the evolution of that person. And it might not be the nicest. 
<laughs> it might not be anywhere that we're in, but I still appreciate them on their journey, right? Um, I don't take back what I did, what I said, what I shared when I know that I didn't have to. And I didn't subject myself to the cruelty of another due to their leveling of evolution because I already saw that. It is what it is. And that shit got nothing to do with me. I did what I did because that's what I wanted to do. And I'm good with that. I'm going to sleep just fine. And so that's the majestic align. But if you, especially if you watched all this shit, whether you timed it out and watched it again later and all this kind of stuff, definitely, definitely for you, the alignment of truth and just your position of power that is escalating, your, 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 like the enhancement of your consciousness and your ability to take action to create that which you are creating in such a significant kind of way, you are a brilliant seed. That is exactly what this fucking world needs to continue to breed and see the exampling of alchemy that is energy that cannot be fucking fabricated or manufactured no matter how someone can mimic, copy, or watch your groove, watch your style, study your moves and all this kind of things and try to talk like you, look like you, act like you, or talk about things like you, but in their own way, they're like, okay, I'm going to study her like this, you know, this kind of stuff. It's not even bad. Like, even that kind of toxicity of, oh, they copy me and all this kind of stuff. It's inspiration. It's liberation. It's, like, elevation for evolution. Like, um, nobody is the originator of kind of, in this multidimensional plane of 3D perceived reality and existence, no matter how much this might rub or snuff someone away, even uh, uh, away, in a way, even if like me and I consider myself to be like an original <laughs> creator because I don't copy nobody even if I'm inspired by something or something like I wake up from my own dreamlands with inspiration of things I can create and do like it's not I, looking at anything too and it's just infinite like creativity like so I feel like you know ingenious genius with that right like so I take pride in that like I'm happy with my creativity like in that kind of fluid fluidly in that kind of way and so like like it's it, it's it's powerful everything is a composite of something in some kind of way especially in this 3d perceived reality like is anything ever original how if we're programmed if everything is programmed Right, to be like no matter how like triggering that can be like no I'm my own individuality and all this kind of stuff but you come from a template the moment you came out your mother's womb or whatever womb you came out of you were bottle fed breast fed spoon fed everything that you are taught to believe think know and see breed when did you ever have the opportunity to think for yourself when a tit was placed right in your mouth the moment you came out the canal Breast milk, it's good for you. Drink up. Oh no, I got formula. My parents smoked. <laughs> right? So um, we all different. But anyways, um, what was I saying? I got distracted with my own silly sometimes too. But seriously, like, um. You are the breed of seed that is needed. Let, let people get hung up on the stupid that they want to get hung up on. That's their war. They're trying to make it yours too. Don't let them convolute, pollute the alchemist that is you, who is the breed of seed of alchemy that is needed. Obviously, because the energy of you that naturally goes to do these natural, genuine things not a fabrication it's not manipulation it's inspiration
motivation is one of the challenging aspects to get someone's fuel started because it requires some kind of spark. And it's only until inspiration takes place that motivation can even begin. Gave that a little poetic spin. And does anyone know I was going there? <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, well, Mimi, no, no. <laughs> Go sleep peacefully, right? Right? So think about that. And think about the demons I've had to face, shadow side, can't erase. I know what it feels like to not be able to sleep. So we take these pockets of these moments of experience as our opportunities to create more of Ooh, sneeze. <laughs> Didn't I, like, one of my last two, like, a video or two or go, I spoke about my multiple sneezes and how and people made me feel embarrassed or shameful about my multiple sneezes that I used to hide my fucking sneeze. Anyways, I don't know what video that was. But anyways, um, bless me, <laughs> bless up me. Um, yeah. Um, so I had all these scenarios play out, and granted, my PTSD could hone in on one of these scenarios a little bit more than the other, or my intuition could be just on point. These are my inner dynamics of scientific study that I play out, but every scenario seen has been seen and I still acted out my deed, right? With meaning for me, that's an alchemy, right? So that's what you are, whether you, that gets what I'm saying from the dynamic of the aspect of, you know what I'm saying? Um, your energy is the medicine. That's why others that are not in the energy, when you talk about lowering or being sucked or being used or drained of your own vibrations and energies and succubite and all this kind of stuff, it's due to the lack of reciprocity from the energies that you're allowing yourself to engage with, that's the drain. There's an imbalance, right? And so that's how someone can suck you dry. The energies are not matched. They're mismatched in some kind of way and there's a defect in that energy. There's not flow, there's not grow. This is a drainage, you know? And that's what you feel. And disappointment can feel like that. It could be like being compliant or complacent to someone not treating you in the way that you desire to be treated. And because you understand that they don't need to or have to, you accept the breadcrumb. And then you go about in your energy field, lowered in vibration. And that's how misery and also lack there of acceptance of a situation or truth about what's happening here, what you're allowing and accepting, you know, this kind of stuff and what you're doing about or how you're going about and doing that. Yeah, it's a lot of conscious fucking effort to be healthy, but what the fuck? Like we come from an unhealthy environment. So we're unlearning a lot of our unhealthy fucking toxic shit. So like it's this shit requires a lot of conscious motherfucking effort. Like I don't understand what the complaint is. Complaint department. <laughs> That's a complaint. Can you gotta do something about it? Yeah. Fucking skippity doo da. Shit straight. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's the fight that the ops are trying to keep you in that energy. So when you start knowing your real truth and your position and acknowledging your 
I know what I do, what I do, how I do, and I already saw that too, and I'm okay with what participation I chose to consciously activate upon before all this shit even went down. I'm good. How about you? Right? So it's like Jay Z style, right? Like dirt off your shoulder. Like, mm mm, sorry. <laughs> I was just being kind, and that's just in my nature. If you got an issue, or you got anything to say, or you got gossip in some kind of way, or some kind of PTSD in you, or some kind of like fucking demonic possession of some kind of like, you know, like, I don't know, like something, which is anything, like, you know what I mean? Like, in energy, like, period, like, side eye, like, you know, evil eye, like, or just, you know, suspicion which is natural to have too period in this world and that's great how do you know truth there is no question so if there's suspicion you got question so get to your truth and tell us how you get through your suspicion but a lot of the time when we're suspicious about shit and we can trust our intuition about a lot of stuff and, but if we're from a distorted perspective and we got a lot of hang-ups in life and we're so angry and got a lot of shit to say and talk and you'll know like those type of energies too like they're so like involved in the hurt aspect of the wrong part of life and their ambition and um push and drive is to rectify or bring that to some kind of like vengeful um justification that not that they are doing anything to get it there but like they're excited that they understand the laws of karma and that dynamic of we all reap what we sow eventually and all this kind of stuff but it's just like it's just like you know I like to be all harmonic um and unified and anybody I just have lesser patience for energies that want to be so combative all the time like I love a good debate and I love like intellectual stimulation like yes let's fuck each other's minds crazy like I love that but respectfully harmoniously we don't need to be nasty and I don't like name calling and all that kind of shit too because for me that's just toxic like you're name calling me because you are lacking some leveling of control about the situation that has you triggered in a motherfucking way that got you wanting to like fight somebody okay so you got some anger issues you need to work through there okay i'm just saying anger too but you know what i'm saying so there's just so many different layers to what they is like choose your battles wisely <laughs> always make your mark <laughs> but choose your battles wisely. That is the enchanting vowel wisdom here for today. And this shit went off for hours. Five, one, six, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eleven, twelve, which is three. It's all about unity and the trine that we make within our own whatever we are resonating with that we connect with. So like divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy, and the holy trinity within our whole entire being to find the harmony that needs to exist for us to coexist. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in. Um, may you benefit from this eat the fucking money, eat the fucking money, eat the fucking money that was here for you. Um, thank you so much for all of you being here. Um, if you are not already a subscriber, this is your opportunity to hit that subscribe button, to hit the like button to um, do all that kind of like uh, stuff. I don't even care. Do whatever the fuck you want. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't even care. It is what it is. I am the breed of seed that needs to be in wherever and wherever it's going to go, it's going to go. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm going to go to my pillow and I'm going to be like, mm -hmm, and I'm, I'm going to be like hugging. Like, who else leaves for like, eight pillows on their bed <laughs> and different sizes different textures different pleasures different mm -hmm, sensations and it's just like different vibrations like it's so comfortable like sometimes i'm just even just laying on a whole bunch of pillows <laughs> even though i'm on the most comfortable bed ever 
Uh, yeah, okay. That sounds so good. What about you? What do you think about that, too? Always make your mark, right? But and choose your fucking battles wisely. And know why you do what the fuck you do when you do how you do. So that way, when somebody, you know, even just tries to, like, energetically play you or, like, doubt you or question or, like, whatever, like, shade you or hate on you or whatever the case, you don't give two motherfucking flying fucks because you're still going to be who you are as you are when you are and that's it period the end you know what i'm saying and that's it because you got so much to accomplish that you don't got no time for this fucking that shit rotten shit that's what it is because we all need the death cycle and that's even coming from my scorpio perspective like you know that there is major transmutation with death cycles so yeah we need that on too but you know yeah let it let it be <laughs> okay so hopefully i finished everything <laughs> I think I'm going to fall asleep before this even uploads. So this is going to be uploaded sometime soon. Whenever I wake up from my snooze. Bye. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck you want. You know? Okay. <laughs>